<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the We Call You Close J Marketing Show. I'm getting ready to get logged into the Vulcan 7 dialer system and we'll just get right to it and start making some cold calls. Give me a moment here while I get this saved a few places and then we'll get this rocking and rolling. Gonna do this for about 45 minutes or so. Gotta run into a meeting at 9 o'clock. But uh, we'll get some dials in, get some questions and answers, anything like that that you guys have uh, questions about when it comes to my service, when it comes to prospecting in general, maybe some stuff that you're running into when you're on the phone, uh, maybe some questions about getting set up to do this on your own. Use me as a resource. I've been doing this full time for four years now. Uh, I've been cold calling and sales and marketing since I was 16. So over 20 years of uh, experience when it comes to that. I'm not saying I am the, the best cold caller when it comes to real estate prospecting. However, we get shit done. <laughs> so let me go ahead and set up a watch party and get this shared a few places. Give me one moment here. How's everybody's Thursday going? Thirsty Thursday, I am thirsty for appointments. Okay, get that set up, got that saved. Now we're gonna start a watch party. Okay, I am broadcasting live from my home office. that set up now let's go ahead and start the dialer can dial in on my mobile phone it's the best way to do it really there's other routes but the best route is to set the dialer up and then when it gives you the number to call in you just call in using your mobile device and I'll put it on speakerphone so you guys can hear And if you're just joining, please do me a favor and give this live stream an emotion. Uh, make some comments. The more that you guys comment and say stuff, it's like where you're from, ask me questions. The more this stream will be uh, will be sent out. I guess it's called uh, syndicated. So it would mean the world to me if you guys could share this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and share this with a few people that I know wanted to come in and hang out. So while I'm doing this, guys, we could talk about my upcoming nationwide virtual nomadic tour. I'm going to be traveling the country for a month, if not longer, and I'm going to be driving, working, documenting the whole thing. Basically, I'm going to travel to as many states as possible, visiting friends and family and networking with colleagues around the country. And so with that being said, if you guys have an office that you'll open up to me for a day or a few to be able to work out of. Please shoot me a DM on that. Uh, shoot me a message on that so we can make plans. Uh, so far, I'm gonna be going to Southern California to visit a few different uh, family members. I'm gonna go to Sedona, Arizona, do some camping, travel up the West Coast, hit a few, a few different beach spots, Oregon, Seattle. I'm gonna go across to Colorado, spend some time in Nebraska, all the way up to upstate New York, down the East Coast to a few different beaches, check out the Hamptons and a few other places, all the way down to Key West, Florida, Tampa, Florida, Houston, Texas, and then back to Southern California, back to Omaha, Nebraska, and then back to California. We're gonna travel for about a month, like I said. And so with that being said, I'm looking to add some stops um, on my trip. So if you guys have uh, an office that you'd open up to me for a day or a workstation that I can work out of, I'd like to be able to come by and meet you as well. Um, nothing really more involved than me coming by and for a meet and greet and working out of your office for a day or two and giving you some one-on-one -on -one training and that type of thing. Um, the comments are open to just about anybody right now. So 
I don't have any restrictions on that. If you want to make some comments, ask me questions in, in the stream, uh, feel free to do that. And let me make sure I have everything set up properly and we will get right to the phone calls because we are logged into the dialer, ready to go. Just got some fantastic news from one of the team members for the brokerage in Florida that I call for. So last week she went on an appointment, uh, walked away with the listing agreement, got the property listed. Um, it's already under contract. So that's two properties within about a week and a half that from my prospecting, from my cold calling, are now converted into live listings that have been closed. That's just in the last couple of weeks. So on average, my clients are getting on average three qualified listing appointments every single week and they're converting at least one into new listings. So that's four new listings for each one of my clients on a monthly basis minimum. That's my expectation. Uh, they expect me to set at least three appointments. My expectation is that they're going to close at least one of them and that's what's happening right now. So it all starts with dials. It all starts with doing these phone calls creating leads to nurture, creating appointments from those, creating listings from those, and then in turn creating lifelong happy clients. And uh, if you guys are real in real estate and you're not using the phone to be able to create relationships in your business, you're missing out on a huge chunk. Yes, referrals are great. Yes, sphere of influence is great. However, about 20% of transactions come from prospecting, where I'm about to be doing live right now. So let's get right to it and we'll see what we can make happen all right that's a for rent by owner don't want to talk to the hot pads it's a service that they hired to handle that Hi, right, this is Jeremy over at Frank Albert's Realty. Mm -hmm. I was calling to speak with, is this, is it Narishma? No, I was calling to speak with Nur, the owner of 10011 Bradwell Place. Why is that? I was calling to speak with the owner. Is that you, sir? No. Okay, have a great day. On to the next. Wrong person. Okay, this is a for sale by owner. He was a little bit defensive. He probably thought I was trying to collect some bills, but that's not the nature of the call. Hello? Hi, this is Jeremy with Frank Albert Realty. I was calling about the property that you're selling on 98th. Is that still available? Okay, what number are you calling? 702-7917. Okay, 702, uh, what is the first three digits you're calling for, 7609? Do I have the wrong number? Yeah, I'm, I'm in, uh, this is the third call I got from some property in Florida. I live in New Jersey. I don't have any property in Florida. So there's a, there is something you're missing. A 702 is a Vegas number. No, ma'am. So I'm dialing 609 area code. Okay, that's me in Jersey, but yeah, you, they have me. Well, maybe I own some property that I don't know about. I don't... <laughs> Well, the owner that we have, the, the owner that we have is Avery Vincent. Do you know Avery Vincent? No. Nope, I'm not Avery. It's the wrong number. Is this I'm Joyce Avery Campbell? Harris. I beg your pardon? Joyce Campbell? No, Harris. Okay, well, I understand your frustration. I hear you. I understand your frustration. However, somebody used your number for a listing that they're selling in Florida. That's what's happening here. Somebody probably just put in the wrong number. No, I, I was a little concerned at first, but because the second gentleman I called, somebody else called about the property, and I thought, well, maybe it's some property. Uh, my family do own some property in Virginia. It's just 
wooded property. There's no um, buildings on it. I thought maybe they were confused with that, but he said no. It's definitely in Florida. So yeah, it's down in Pinellas Park, and so it's usually a couple of things do happen in this situation. Well, it's just a little condo. It's nothing too special. So what's happening here oh, is. Do you want me to help? Do you want me to explain why, or do you want me just to? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm interested. Okay, so maybe you can see what you can do about getting that fixed. So you don't keep getting calls. So there's a like you already have the information that it's a listing in Pinellas Park, Florida. Now, if you'd like, I can give you the address so that way uh, you you at least have that information. Because yes, on, on my end, all I can do is make sure that my company doesn't call you again. That's all that I can do. Um, you can't really do much okay. else than that. So, I appreciate that. Do you have something to write with? Yes, I do. I'm ready. 5031 98th Avenue. Okay. That's there's It's actually 98th Avenue, 98th Avenue North. Okay. And then... The, mm -hmm. the zip code is 33782. And okay. the the name that we have on that is Avery, A V E R Y, Vincent. And it may be Vincent Avery, not sure. Now, usually when they have, we get mix ups like this, because this happens sometimes, because I make these calls all the time, usually the phone number, this phone number, your number, is, is some at some point in time was either attached to that property or at some point in time you knew the owner friend own, uh, something like that that's usually what's happened in the past and what our assistants uh -huh. do is they pull tax and title records and sometimes they go back to old information so that's just an idea of possibly how your number got mixed in have you had this number for a while i've had this number of probably about Ten years. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, what I'm going to do is make sure that we don't call you again unless you're buying or selling any property that we can help you with. Okay. Now, what part of Florida is this in? This is in Tampa, St. Pete area. So the zip code is three three seven eight two is where that property okay, is. Okay, I can look that up. It could be exact. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day. Or try to. You too, and you be safe out there now. Yes, ma'am. All right, you have a great day. Bye now. All right, guys, on to the next. Usually I try to be as nice as possible and try to help them because then I follow with that question to see if there's anything that we can do to help them, right? And a lot of times they will turn into a buyer's lead or a, per or a seller's lead, so you never know, right, unless you ask. I gotta go ahead and um, restart this real quick. I realized that I was calling out of the. Um, I need to be into the different different account here. I was in the admin account, and it doesn't have all my preset emails in there, so I need to make sure that I'm dialing out of the right account. I, I thought something seemed a little off. Just take me one second here to take care of that. Give me one second here, guys, while I get logged back in. And if you're viewing this, looks like we have about 200 people in here right now. Please do me a favor and in the comments, tell everybody where you're from and what it is that you do in real estate, mortgage, sales, and marketing. That way we can network. Um, again, use the chat box or the comments box to be able to interact. Ask me any questions you have related to business, my service, anything like that. So basically, you guys, I'm, I'm what you call a, a virtual nomad or a digital nomad. My company is a uh, United States nationwide real estate marketing company, okay, uh, with a with a focus and a niche of cold calling and an appointment setting for listing appointments. Realtors and brokers will hire me to 
cold call, generate leads, and set appointments for them and their team to go turn into listings, okay? Uh, I've had my company, J Marketing, for over four years now, and it's very successful. Uh, we are going to be growing the team in the coming months and having some appointment setters come on board so that way we can service more realtors and brokers because right now it's a one-man band there's only so many hours in the day so there's only so many realtors and brokers that i can help at a certain time and with a service like mine that's very hands-on um give me one moment while i dial back in here it's different it's a lot more uh, effective than having let's just say like generating leads because we're generating the leads and we're actually calling on them too and setting the appointments so we take it a whole a whole nother step there's a lot of services out there that will just provide leads and just put it in your uh, your database well however my service is more active we don't wait we create we go out there and make things happen right all right let's go let's get back into the calls all right this is a for sale by owner Calling about the property on Linwood. All right, hang on while I try to reach them. Hello. Hi, right, calling for Michael. Yes, who's this? This is Jeremy over at Frank Albert Realty about the property on Linwood. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Is it still available, or have you gotten it sold already? I work for one, that's why I was calling to see if you're willing to work with realtors that bring a buyer for you. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting is realtors bringing buyers to me. What, what percentage is he looking to get? I'm an assistant here and not legally allowed to talk about that. What I would do is if we had a buyer, I would have our team reach out and talk to you in person about that. I'm just gathering information for the team. I think I've got enough on board right now, so I'll just pass. Oh, congratulations. Have a good day. All right, guys, on to the next. I have a folder that I put them in for sale by owner, buyer only. We don't waste too much time on that and just move on to the next. Looks like we have 429 people in here. If you could, let everybody know where you're watching from. What part of the world? you're watching this live stream from? Hey, John. Hey, Dominga. Hey, John. Um, what time is it in the Philippines, buddy? And for the other 486 people in here, where are you guys watching from? I'd like to be able to get to know you if I could. Again, I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing. And right now we're making live cold calls in the Tampa, St. Petersburg uh, real estate market. I'm calling for one of my clients down there. Um, basically, they've hired me to cold call and set appointments for the team. And right now, we're calling on expired listings. Your message for seven, we're calling on canceled listings, and we're calling on for sale by owner listings. Okay, I got them all mixed in. And as I'm calling, I'll talk about the lead, and if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm gonna put a link to my calendar, and if you're a realtor or a broker and wants more information, I'd like for you to go ahead and hop on my calendar so we can talk details. And there's a featured link there to my YouTube channel, which I put some of my uh, best videos on. I'm going to feature a few different links throughout the process of this um, session. Uh, the link that's, that's there now is to my shop where I have a couple of my services to my business page. And there should be a poll there saying, do you like to cold call? If you could answer that question, yes or no. Uh, the more interaction that we get in the, in the comments, the more that Facebook will distribute this uh, live stream. 
um, so that way we'll get more activity and basically that means that's good stuff for me and it'd be greatly appreciated the more interaction that you guys participate in the better it is for the live stream and the health of the stream and uh, like I said if you're in real estate in the United States Canada any English speaking dominant country um, I would like to be able to have you as a contact whether you're interested in my service or not please go ahead and like and follow J marketing and go ahead and send me a friend week request as well um, I do have another business page we call you close and that's for the service I'm gonna put a link to that too and I'm also featuring a link to uh, the cold calling group that we have okay John's 1120 so that's a link to um, my other business page for we call you close and I believe we're featuring a link to cold calling isn't dead give me one second here because I'll tell you what guys cold calling is far from being dead a lot of business is generated from just picking up the phone and so again if you guys were to give J marketing a like and a follow um, as well as uh, checking taking a look at our group that'd be great um, in the private group that we have basically it's for people that are prospectors real estate mortgage sales anybody that picks up the phone to be able to generate business and what we do in that group is thank you Justin what we do in that group is a lot of idea shares and for those of you that are watching if you have any questions comments or anything like that about the prospecting about what I'm doing please use the comments box and as I'm calling I'll look over at the comments box and try to answer those questions as they come in. So the platform that we're calling from, this dialing platform, is called Vulcan 7. Vulcan 7 is a prospecting platform for real estate. Provides three different things. Leads. A... Hello, Yilani. Oh, she hung up. Let's call back. Provides the leads the dialer and a contact management system for follow-ups and appointment setting and notes and things like that and it syncs up with my Google Calendar for appointments it's a really neat tool there's a few of them out there and it's really whatever my clients have in place is what we use so if they have Vulcan 7 I work from that if they have Red X I work from that if they have Mojo I work from that so I'm gonna be calling here for about another 20 minutes or so and we do not have to run into a meeting um, but if you are watching please in the comments just let everybody know where you're from and what you do in the sales and marketing world uh, this is Jeremy with Frank Albert's Realty I was calling for Yelini okay sir thank you On to the next. All right, John, go get him, buddy. Hello. Hi, this is Jeremy with Frank Albert's Realty, calling for Pavini. Yeah, tell me. I was calling about the property that you were selling on Terracina Chase. Did you get that sold? No. Uh, as of now, I drop off from that proposal, so uh, I'm not going to sell my home. Uh, you changed your plans? Yes. So it was a it's a townhouse, right? Correct. Okay. It looks like you had it on the market for ninety six days with Sylvia. What happened there? No, I, I changed my plan. The, that's why uh, I'm not interested to sell further. Oh, I understand. I was just wondering when it was on the market for three months. Why do you think it didn't get sold? 
Your realtor didn't give you any feedback? No. You were working with Redfin, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. My company, Frank Alberts Realty, sees that happen a lot with that brokerage. And we are selling a lot of property just like yours right now. So if you could get it sold, would you at least want to see how we do that? Okay, I'll do one thing. Okay, little. I'm presently I'm a little bit busy with the meetings. Okay. Okay. Uh, if if possible, give me the call after uh, two months. So at the time I'm looking. What time should I call you back? After two months. After two months. Yes. So you want me to give you a call in in December or November? Yeah, absolutely. What I'd like to do when we get off the phone here is I just want to send you our resume so you know who we are, and then I will give you a call in late November to see if it's a better time to talk about getting it listed. Okay. What's the best email for you, Pavini? Okay, I can give you, but uh, just uh, give me a few minutes because I'm in the meeting. I need to speak in my meeting. How, if, I te okay. if I text message you, could you text it to me? So he was busy, he's in meetings, I get it, but he did say that he's willing to talk to us, but he wants to wait a few months before doing anything. That's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him in there as a nurture, we'll call him back, and then when I get off the dialer here, I'll send him a text message to be able to get that, um, to be able to get the, um, excuse me, I had a, had a pop up. So we can get his email address, and then I'll email him more information, and then we'll just continue to follow up with him until he's ready. So I'm setting up a callback uh, starting um, in two weeks, and then we'll call them once every week until we're able to get them on the phone and set up an appointment. And then I'm gonna send them a text message as well, just to establish the relationship and open the communication up, and then we'll move on to the next call. Looks like we have 464 viewers in here. If you guys are watching, please let me know where you're watching from. I also am featuring a link to my YouTube channel. If you guys are on YouTube, please check that out and subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> Give me one moment here while I finish getting this set up. Thank you, Julio. So it's currently 8.30 here on Thursday. Okay, got that. Give me one moment here, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and then we'll get back into the calls.
So if you're watching on your mobile device on the bottom here, that's where if you click on the uh, little tags, that's where you'll be able to see uh, my shop. And then there's a, 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 a message button where you can message me directly. Uh, the, a lot of the new features here, I'm just trying to figure out here on uh, Facebook, they have a lot of new streaming features. And so this is also a learning experience for me. Um, you know, I'm not a professional video maker or live streamer. I'm, you know, I'm good at the cold calls and the prospecting. I'm just learning the technology side of stuff. So bear with me. For those of you that, that are watching, I'd greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me. Looks like we have over 500 people in here viewing right now. If you could give me the stream an emotion, a like, a heart, um, whatever. And then also if you could share this stream, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you can share it and maybe real estate or sales and marketing groups that you're in. Um, that way we can get other people in here to view as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just continue on with the calls, guys. Okay. So he's in there as a nurturer. I'm gonna go ahead and send him a text message after this session. And then I'll just move on to the next call. I have a folder that I put him in to go ahead and um, it's a nurture folder. And then we move on to the next call. Here we go. This is a canceled listing, 175,000. Let's see if we can get somebody on the phone. So not only does it automatically leave a message that I have built into the system, but it will automatically send emails out too that we've already set up. So it makes things really easy, a little easier when I'm calling to drop a voicemail and to send out emails. You have reached the voicemail box of 9517561 we are live on Facebook Cole calling in Vulcan 7 links in the bio come hang out just making a post on Instagram real quick Right. <sighs> so Vulcan 7 does the legwork for us. They scrub tax and title records and they give us all of the phone numbers for the owners, for the uh, owner on a record when it comes to taxes. And so they provide us with a lot of information when I'm making these calls, the leads, the info, uh, the dialer system and the contact management system. Uh, Vulcan 7 is one of three main prospecting platforms out there. There's a few others, um, Red X, Mojo, and there's some other ones out there, but those are the main three. Please leave your message for 760. Okay, this is a new lead here to cancel listing. hundred and thirty thousand dollars looks like they're absentee owners as well they live in Omaha and the properties in Florida so that's good please leave your message 
message for three three one four five seven three six zero zero. Sorry, mailbox is full. To send an SMS notification. Tim? Yeah. Jeremy yeah. calling. Oh, okay. Uh, but this is Mr. Sihi? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm his son, but this is not his number. Gotcha. Well, you're probably getting a bunch of calls about that property in Tampa then, I'm, I'm guessing. I sure am. Okay. Uh, must be frustrating. I have a few other numbers here. I'm a, I work for a realtor down here in, in the area. We were just calling about the units. Do you know if he's still trying to sell it? Do you have the best number, or should I just try the other ones I have? Yeah, let's go try the other ones you have. All right, have a good day, man. So we're on the right track here. We'll see if we can get Tim on here. That was his son. Once again, guys, we're broadcasting live from my home office in Fair Oaks, California, which is outside of Sacramento. And we are cold calling in for my team down in Tampa, Florida. Again, I work virtually and make these calls. And if you could, in the comments, just let everybody know where you're from, where you're watching this from, and what you do in sales and marketing, real estate, mortgage, solar, what it is that you guys do. And feel free to interact amongst, e amongst each other and ask me any questions you might have about the uh, process and system, uh, my business, anything like that, guys. While I'm making calls here, I'll... After the talk. Trying to get Tim on the phone here. Let me try the other number that I have once again. I probably make anywhere from 500 to 1,000 dial, uh, dials every single day. So it all starts with dials, guys. You gotta make a lot of phone calls to be able to generate a certain amount of leads. The more leads you generate, the more appointments you're going to set, the more appointments you set, the more opportunities that you're going to have to list property. Now, I do this as an assistant. However, as a realtor or a broker, when you're new, this is how you start in the business to be able to get you know a name for yourself. And Please leave your message for three, three, one. All right, so we're going to move on to the next. So this is a canceled listing so today's the 24th so these came off the market back on the 19th this one's 1.2 million dollars hello hi this is jeremy with Fr frank albert's realty calling for roger um i have a realtor thank you so much you're welcome i think he said he is a realtor or he has a realtor either way um that's all we need to know and we just move on to the next you know, there's a good chance that he was coached to say that or he just figured out that that's a good way for him to get off the phone. Either way, there's no point in going back and forth and trying to argue. We just move on to the next call. Hello. Hi, this is Jeremy with Frank Alberts Realty calling for Inna Ayers. Oh, hi. Hi, I was calling about your unit that you're renting on 17th. Did you get that filled or is it still available? available. I don't have a tenant yet, but um, I am when do you, are you the one that will be renting? No, no. I was calling oh. to, I work with Frank Albert's Realty and I was calling to see if you would consider selling the unit if you can get the right price. Oh, no. It's absolutely not for sale no matter what? Correct. Okay. Well, thanks for the update. Have a good day. So that's a for rent by owner. Uh, we're talking to investors and we're looking to see if they'd be willing to sell. 
And if there's, an, if there's a possibility that they would consider selling, then we just run a CMA and see if the numbers make sense and go from there. So these are for rent by owners, guys. Let's see if we can get somebody on the phone here and see if we can get them converted. Hello. Hi, this is Jeremy, Frank Albert Realty, calling for Matthew. Yeah. Calling about the uh, unit that you're renting on Balboa. Did you get that filled or is it still available? Uh, it's already filled. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'll put that down here. Thanks. All right, guys. So he already got renters in it. Uh, not much more we can do with that. Move on to the next. On to the next.